Six months after anti-Muslim violence ravaged through central Burma, 3,000 mostly Muslim residents remained homeless. About half of the displaced have been relocated to new apartments away from their original homes, but the rest remain in camps. Ko Si went to see how they're coping half a year on. Dawn Nini has been living in this displacement camp for the last six months. She shares this small room with her daughter and two grandchildren. When her house caught fire in the riots, her land ownership documents were destroyed. The authorities say they would give her new papers so she can move back home, but no one is telling her when. Dornini's husband was one of the 43 people who were killed during the anti-Muslim violence last March. Thousands of Muslims were driven from their homes as Buddhist mobs torched whole neighborhoods, destroying shops, homes and mosques. Dornini's sons were also attacked, but rescued by a Buddhist man. She is tired of waiting for government help and just wants to go home. <laughs> Also in the camp is Thithi Moore, who lost her husband in the violence. She lost all her possessions, including her noodle shop. Dornini's sons are working in their cousin's butcher's shop to help the family get back on its feet. The residents of McTeela suffered unimaginable trauma. 13,000 people were displaced when the mobs descended on the town. Dr. Mien Tu says a counselling service should be in place in the camps. <laughs> As people are restricted from leaving, the camps are in danger of feeling like prisons. Mian Tu says those in charge must ease the IDP's fears and anxieties. To do this, he suggests allowing religious leaders to make visits. Thin Thin Moor continues to wait for support that may not even come. Those still left in the camps in McTeela face uncertainty. They don't know when or where they will be relocated. And they feel as though they have been forgotten.